Maybe you are the lucky owner of a Windows PC, and if that's the case, you should also be able to program the Skohoi units. So I'm gonna show you how to uh, program an Arduino Ethernet, which is inside a C51 like this guy. And the first thing you need to do is to make sure you have the Arduino IDE installed on your laptop. So let's go to the Arduino website. So you go to the download tab. You click Windows and you download the Arduino IDE. After you have downloaded the Arduino zip file, you need to extract it. And here I have extracted the file into a folder on my desktop. And what you find there is an Arduino exe file, which if you double click it and you accept to run it, the Arduino IDE will simply start. Installing the Arduino IDE was the easy part of what you just did. You also need an FTDI driver for this particular cable because there's no direct USB connection to this board. It has to go through a little chip inside this special cable and for that you need a driver. So you go to the wiki page of uh, Skorhoi and uh, on our Arduino page, the one you see right, right here uh, with Arduino boards, you find a link, oh, I'm sorry, to the FTDI driver chip and you click that link. Then you scroll down a little bit on this page and you find a section called Windows and we suggest that you download the setup executable under comments. So you press this link, you say thank you, run, also run, although I don't know you as a publisher, and then you look closely if the installation goes well. So now it's installing the driver and hopefully we'll have a little message down here telling us that it's successfully installed. It doesn't show. The reason is that we actually installed it before this particular presentation. I'm sorry. We needed to know that it worked and uh, it did in the second try. So we installed the driver, then we shut down the machine, turned it on again, installed the driver again. It told us that now it had found the hardware. Great. And then it worked. But before we actually managed to program it, the thing is that you need to know which COM port that it's configured for. So I'm going to show you how you can discover that. So if you, uh, yeah, you can do it from, um, from your desktop, you have the icon for my computer. And if you right click on that, under properties, you can find, uh, is it hardware, device manager, and here what you need is to look at the COM ports, which is right here. And you should see something like USB serial port, maybe it's COM6. See, that's valuable information because it tells you that this guy, and maybe, ha, it's gone. Did you see it? Yeah. So if I put it in again, we should see it appears in this list. Great. Hooray for Windows. All right. So now we know it's COM6, and this is valuable because when we get back into the uh, Arduino environment, which I'm starting up right now. Then when we load the blink sketch that we are gonna use now to confirm our connection to the board. So I'm just gonna open this a little more. Under examples, basics, blink, these are examples of Arduino source code, which you can easily um, load into the application and you can press this one to just upload. But the thing is that we are on an Arduino Ethernet and on these boards, we use the um, digital pin nine to uh, blink this little LED, which you can see right here. There's a small LED which will begin to blink as soon as we upload the sketch, but it has digital pin nine. So in the application, we go to digital pin nine and then we press the upload button and notice what happens here, it says compile sketch, and it takes some time, then it tells us how large it was, it now says uploads, and it says that uploading is done. The reason why this went totally smooth is because the application already knew that we had an Arduino Ethernet board and the COM port 6, and these two things were told by us to the application, as you can see from uh, the tools menu, 
um, the board menu and then the Arduino Ethernet is selected. And under serial ports, you can see that COM6 is selected. And that's exactly the COM port that we, we saw in the device manager. We have confirmed that we have the right board, the right communication port. We clicked this one and it uploaded the sketch to the Arduino board. And if we look at the Arduino board, you can see that the small LED L9 is in fact blinking something like once a second it changes its state. Most likely you didn't watch this video to see how you program a bare Arduino Ethernet board like this one, but how to program a C51 like this one. So really the uh, programming header is to be inserted right here in the back of the unit. So we disconnect the things here. So this little guy has to fit in here and Again, you need to observe the black wire needs to be aligned with the text black right here. So we, we stick it in like that all the way to the bottom and it's good to go. You can do exactly the same thing because it's an Arduino Ethernet inside here.